on Wood Street, you've got the site of the former co-op. I know it hasn't been a co-op for a few years now, but that's what you all know it best as. And if you've been down there and seen it recently, it's terrible. It's a disaster area. It's at best, it's a hole in the ground, full of weeds, strewn with rubbish, with the remains of a pathetic attempt at fencing it off, caved into it, thrown into it, describe it as you will, it's terrible. I don't want you thinking for a second that I haven't tried to do anything about this. I've been in contact with the planning officers of the council to say can't we get the developers, to whoever owns the damn place, the property owners, to do something with that fencing. The, the answer is apparently that we, as a planning authority, don't have control over such things as that. We can ask them nicely, and if they don't want to do it, they don't have to. Asking nicely clearly doesn't work. Uh, the health and safety executive based in Birmingham is the next port of call. I've contacted them. I've been contacting them since it started looking like an eyesore, basically. Um, chasing them, they apparently have got better things to do. They haven't phrased it quite that way, but nothing has changed on that site. Very difficult getting updates off them, but I do continue to be persistent and I will continue to chase up that site. It's not only an eyesore, it's dangerous. I was up there myself um, a couple of weeks ago, it was quite windy. We had a really windy day, I was up there then. Uh, and I was standing down one side by the flats, there's an Armco barrier, and I was standing by that. Now, I'm on the thick end of 18 stone, and the wind nearly pushed me in. So, you know, children playing in the area, and there are children in those flats, have got to be so careful. How the health and safety executive can put this on the back of a pile, I do not know. But I will continue to push for this issue to be resolved in the shortest possible time. Just wanted to keep you up to date on that. Thank you for watching.